hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so if you've been here before it is very very long time no see and if you haven't been here before then welcome i am currently a student at lse i've just finished my first year so i'm going to second year in september and i'm studying math and economics Since I've been gone from YouTube for about a year, this was kind of unplanned because originally like I kind of wanted to set up my YouTube during my gap year and it was something for me to do while I was on my gap year. But also like I wanted to then carry it through and just like document my whole uni experience. And I got to uni and it was just like such a whirlwind the whole year. Like I went through the whole year with the intention constantly of like picking my camera back up and redoing YouTube. And everything was just so crazy that I just never got a chance. And I kind of do regret that now, but also like I just had the best time and I lived in the moment so much. Hopefully I can kind of like create a few videos now towards the end of summer, just reflecting back on all my experiences from first year. And then going forward, I'm going to try my very best to actually like frequently upload throughout second year. So you guys can like come along with me through my time at uni in real time. So for today, I thought I'd start myself off kind of lightly. I wanted to do like a whole review of my first year. But there is so much to talk about so i'm going to break it down into a few videos i figured i'd go with a bit more of a technical video today to kind of like set myself back in and then once i've had a bit more time to kind of think about what i want to share like the main highlights and lowlights whatever else of my first year then we'll do some review videos as well so i think i mentioned it in my intro but i am currently at lse studying maths and economics and I thought well, basically I'd talk a little bit about the maths department in general and how it kind of works with the different courses. And then I'll talk about the specific modules I took during first year and how I found them. And just kind of my general experience of doing this degree at LSE so far and maybe what the future looks like a little bit. To start off, so for those of you that don't know, the LSE maths department, like it's it's not tiny, but it's not huge. You have like 120-ish students a year yeah basically how it works is the math department offers three undergrad courses and they all have the exact same first year so no matter which one of the three you apply for you're going to study the same modules in first year and you can switch between those three degrees as much as you want up until the start of second year because that's when like things start diverging so basically when you apply you can apply with a personal statement tailored to any one of those three you're just kind of being accepted into the maths department as opposed to being accepted onto the specific degree title because there's that flexibility to change so i'd say like when you're applying don't worry too much about sticking really strongly to like having 50 50 maths and econ on your personal statement or 75 25 like you can kind of be a bit more free-flowing with it because you're just kind of appealing to the department as opposed to the specific course if that makes sense i don't know if that helps maybe i should have explained the actual courses before i went into that but we have maths and econ which is what i do which is 50 50 of the two disciplines there's maths with econ which is 75 maths 25 percent econ and then thirdly it's a little bit different they have financial maths and stats which i guess you can just call the kind of like more applied end of maths so the way it works at lse all maths courses in the first year take all the same modules and i guess as a result of that all your modules for first year are compulsory which it depends on how you learn <laughs> i wasn't a massive fan of that i knew that before i got there but i really value like having something a little bit different on the side like I really wanted an outside option to be able to take something completely different to maths just to kind of get away from it for a little bit so that is one downside if you're like me and that's something you value and that's definitely something to keep in mind because you don't get an outside option until third year you get choices in second year but it's within kind of like the confines of your degree areas you don't get like a completely free range choice until your final year there are definitely good reasons for it being compulsory as well but I don't know it's a bit of a toss up but that is just something to keep in mind the actual courses that you'd be studying so we did two half units of econ so we did a half unit of micro in the first term and then a half unit of macro after christmas in the second term then we did three full units of kind of mathsy subjects so we did ma100 mathematical methods it's a lot of like matrices vector spaces algebra things like that we did MA103 introduction to abstract mathematics which that's rough that is hard oh my gosh it's like very rigorous maths it's very proof heavy basically you're just like it's a lot of theorems and proving things 
and it's maths in a way that you will have never seen it before like it's completely different to school but it kind of lays the foundation for like what a lot of uni maths is like um yeah I don't I could make a whole video about that module in itself so I'm not going to dwell on it too much but it is that's a lot it's hard <laughs> but it's a challenge and if you like the challenge and you like the kind of reward of eventually getting things like it's a good module and then finally we did a full unit module in st102 which is elementary statistical theory which obviously is stats i loved that i really really enjoyed that i had a really good class teacher and then finally and this is lse wide everyone in first year across every department in lse has to take a course called lse 100 in the first year again this runs throughout the whole year it's basically just an interdisciplinary module so this is where i got my kind of outside option and i love this module as well for that reason this year we studied ai but the topic changes every year so i can't tell you while you're watching this what you're going to study because they change it every time but it's yeah it's basically a way for you to be mixed in a class with people from all the different departments across lse and you look at certain concepts and ideas and problems in the context of like loads of different disciplines and it relies on like each of you obviously having the expertise of your own discipline but also having that openness and willingness to like learn from other subject areas as well and i loved it so much i could talk about that module all day but yeah i guess that is like all the modules you'll take and maybe i can run down like what i enjoyed and what i didn't i think i've already vocalized didn't really like MA103 so much, which is a problem because it's what a lot of uni maths is like. And I'm finding now I'm preferring everything other than maths a lot of the time. <laughs> it's just not the kind of maths I'm very good at and that I really enjoy. I really liked MA100. That was really fun. It's hard at times, but it's really rewarding and it's really fun. MA103 was fun. Like I enjoyed it until I had to revise it. <laughs> but doing the problem sets, like working on that with my friends and stuff, like it's hard work, but we had a lot of fun doing it as well. So it's not a horrendous module. It's just challenging econ i loved i love econ so much i think i'm i definitely want to go into that like when i graduate like i definitely want to go more towards econ than math but the econ modules i think are brilliant i really love them and stats as well i think i mentioned it already but i really enjoyed that i think that's a really well done course if you get a good teacher as well it makes a world of difference like your class teachers are so important and my stats classes I loved. LSE 100 I also loved. I loved every module to be honest except MA 103. I wasn't a massive fan. Like it had its good moments and I can see why it's there but yeah that definitely didn't appeal to me but everything else I really enjoyed studying genuinely. <laughs> like econ like I'd never studied before so don't worry if you've never studied it before because it's kind of tailored with the expectation that a lot of the students won't have covered it ever before. Like you start right from the basics and it's done in a way that I'd say is easy enough to pick up if you put the work in. So don't let that hold you back. Same with stats. Like I was lucky because I'd done stats at A-level and I'd done it in further maths A-level. So I already had quite a good foundation in that and that definitely made it easier like the first few weeks. But again, like loads of my friends had never studied it before and were able to pick it up like yeah so don't worry if there's things you haven't covered before like they kind of assume that you haven't seen it and they'll start you from the basics and you'll be absolutely fine i guess another important thing to talk about is kind of how the course is structured so we would have maybe two or three hours of lectures every week per module and then you'll have either between an hour and an hour and a half of classes for each module a week they're always on campus they're in a smaller group and that's just like your class teacher won't be your lecturer either they're completely separate so your lecturer will teach the whole year group in the lectures and then everyone will have different class teachers to like go over the content and go over the problem sets so the idea is you watch the lectures for the week you read through like the lecture notes or any extra handouts that you've been given like specific to what you're covering that week and then you'll be given a problem set it will be released at the start of the week but like you won't be able to do it until you've done the content for that week and then that's usually due at the weekend or like the Monday of the following week. That's basically like testing your knowledge on what you've done that week. The problem sets are designed to be really hard. They're designed to challenge you, to push you. Like that's your only kind of homework or like submitted work that you need to do each week. Because I guess with maths, like there isn't really anything you can do in terms of like extra reading or like there's not much. So that's like your only work each week. So it, like they want to make it hard so that you spend a lot of time on it so it kind of throws you in at the deep end because you're not used to it being like super challenging and having to spend like hours just on like five questions or i definitely wasn't so it yeah it takes a lot of getting used to but the key thing with problem sets it's less about like getting absolutely everything right and more about just trying to approach solving it in the right way and just trying to use the methods 
that you've learned to try and approach the problem they're not really expecting you to be able to solve everything they're just expecting you to be able to have a good go I guess that's my main advice but yeah that's kind of how it works and then either after Christmas in January or in the summer then it'll be examined and LSE or particularly like the math courses are very exam heavy which if you like exams and you can like show your abilities well in exams then obviously that's great if you're someone that succeeds a lot more on coursework or enjoys coursework a lot more then I don't know this is definitely like a tricky place to be if you're and then I guess the final thing to talk about is kind of what it looks like going into second and third year so basically with maths and econ what's happening in second year is again we've got two half units in macro and micro and a full unit in I think it's MA212 which is kind of like a successor of MA100 like mathematical methods I think it's probably even called further mathematical methods or something like that so that's compulsory we have to study those and then I also have to do a half unit in MA203 which is real analysis which again is like a proof rigorous maths kind of units and then the rest is free choice so for me on maths and economics I can pick either two half units of econometrics which is what I'm going to do or you can take a full unit in principles of finance or I believe you can pick up one half unit of econometrics and then the other half unit of another maths course and I think I get a choice of four different modules I'll put them on the screen now I haven't completely committed to which one I'm going to do yet basically that is what second year looks like maths with econ will be kind of similar except that they probably don't get the choice to study econometrics or they maybe get a choice to study half of it but they'll basically just have to do more maths choice modules I think is how it works financial maths and stats I'm not sure but if anyone has any questions leave them below and I'll look it up and try and answer them I have friends on like all three of the courses so I can let you know and then third year for my course as far as I'm aware I can pick one unit of maths and that could be one unit or two half units one unit's worth of econ courses another unit's worth of either econ maths or stats I think and then my final unit can be a completely free choice so that's where I finally can study something like politics or sociology or something really cool I might get to that point and just want to do even more econ because if I'm trying to tailor it to a master's application it's probably worth having more econ in there and at the moment I'm thinking I want to do a master's in something econ related but I don't know, we'll see where it takes me. But anyway, I don't know what else to tell you, to be honest. I'm sure there's things that I've missed, in which case, send me any questions, let me know anything, I'm happy to answer everything. And I'm definitely gonna make more videos, like reflecting more personally, like on my experience with the course and just with the uni in general and how I found it in my first year. So all of that is to come, but I just thought for today, I do a kind of overview of the actual degree in the maths department itself. I don't know how helpful that's been, there's definitely things I missed out, but let me know if you enjoyed, give me a like and thumbs up if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content, I'm so excited to be back and I can't wait to like start producing loads more videos for you guys, so I will see you again very soon, bye!